The pencil has become a sign of creativity, invention and innovation. It is a form of art that many a great artists are exploring and making big names for themselves. But having a 10-year-old exploring this great form of art with hyper-realistic drawings is quite unusual. Teofilos Dassin is a 10-year-old boy of Maria Makunda, originally from Burford, Ghana town, with great talent in pencil art. With about seven years of experience, the young boy is said to have started drawing as early as the age of three. Yeah, I have all this one. This is when he started drawing uh, human beings because first he was drawing elephants, uh, lions, and other stuff. Asked what inspired him to be an artist, he said he just found himself drawing. I can't remember what actually inspired me to be an artist. I just found myself drawing. At the age of three, you know, he would always come to me and ask me to draw something for him. So there was this particular day that um, I just drew an elephant and I said, hey, boy, just go and draw it yourself because I don't have the time to be drawing for you always. So he went and then he drew it. And by the time I came from work some days later, I saw that he has drawn so many. But is his skill influenced by genetics? Well, Teofilo's father, Mr. Emmanuel Dassin, can boast of some skills in art, but acknowledge his son has surpassed his level. Well, when I was young, I played with the pencils, and even up to now, I do a little, but not much. He's my master now. <laughs> with the support of his parents, Teofilo is provided with some tools to explore his talent, and through watching YouTube videos of his mentor, Andrew Tisler, he's able to improve from one stage to another. My parents support me a lot. In our school, we don't do art. I learn at home through YouTube videos, especially my mentor, Andrew Tisla. A proud father who is amazed by the handwork of his boy couldn't afford to see the drawings get to ways, but portrays them in their house for display. Uh, these are masterpieces. I don't need to let them go waste. So I actually uh, took the time to frame them and I just mount them here. So every time I would just look at them, and then I wonder, I said, wow, so it's Chief Loss actually who do this. Sometimes in the night, I just stand and then be looking at them, and it makes me feel happy. Like most African parents, Mr. Emmanuel was worried if the hard work would affect his academics. But according to his class teacher, Mr. Victor Bass of Immaculate Heart of Mary Lower Basic School, Chief Loss has been able to maintain a balance and is performing well at school. I just told his dad that, you know, he does not have to worry that much about Theophilus. He did well, and uh, this time he, he took fit with uh, good grades. Parents, he said, need to be observant and help nurture the skills of their children, a sentiment he says with Theophilus' father. Though they have to encourage the kids to, to work hard in school, but also um, encourage the person to also do what he or she likes. You know, they, they, there should be that um, sort of guidance you know, like sort of mentoring. If you have a child and then that child, you see him playing around with anything, please keep an eye on that child because what I believe is that every child has something unique in him, so or her. Many upon seeing his masterpieces would usually question if the artist is a 10-year-old boy, thus proving the talent he possesses. The materials that he used, proportional divided, you know, even with all that, I still had that kind of, you know, doubt. doubt. In order to prove a point, what I did was, <laughs> I get um, uh, a picture of a friend. I give it to him to, to draw in my present. I was just looking at him. But when he was done with all this, this was when I was, uh, yeah, when I was convinced that the work was done by him. We met Theophilus busy drawing an image of the late Nelson Mandela, demonstrating passion for what he does, as he was focused, sketching every detail. I think you'd need some little bit of features um, to complete the work, the hair and some few other elements. But we can tell that this is Nelson Mandela. Pencil art may be what is available for tear flows to explore, but he also has a great interest in painting and robotics. But due to the cause attached, his father has not been able to provide him with the tools. No, I don't have most of the tools I need, so I really need support. This has not yet become an economic venture but just the story of a young boy exploring his talent. However, Tio's aim is to become a well-established artist in the near future. I, I want to be a great artist like my mentor Andrew Tesla and have my own YouTube 
channel and my art studio and my own website so that I can teach many people. With the needed support, young talents such as Theophilus can contribute their quota in the creative industry of the country. Rohi Bite, GRTS.